I'm Marlon Short. Um, I play basketball, obviously, shooting guard. Um, hometown, I live in the Bay Area, Richmond. Um, but I went to a boarding school in Connecticut for basketball, so I went to prep school for uh, my junior and senior year. Um, yeah. And do you have a major right now? Or are you undeclared? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm undeclared right now. Awesome. So yeah. do you know what you would like to do in the future? What are your future goals? Um, I'm thinking I'm going to major in business, something to do with business. Uh, I'm not completely sure yet, but I definitely want to run my own company one day and be my own boss. So why did you choose Stanislaus State? Um, I chose Stan State because I definitely wanted to come back to California after being on the East Coast for the last two years. And um, it was just a good fit for me, both with basketball and academically. So I thought it was the best decision. And you play basketball. So if you could play any sport that wasn't basketball, what would you play and why? <clears throat> oh, sheesh. Um, definitely it would be football because I mean I played when I was younger but I haven't played in a while and I just enjoy watching it so definitely football yeah awesome so if you could tell me an interesting story about yourself that no one really knows it can be a fun story embarrassing story any story that you would like to tell what story would you tell um I'm not sure if this is really a story but uh when I was younger I used to play chess a lot um, so I was in like chess club and, and all that and I used to, you know, take it pretty serious. So I guess that's, I don't know if that's a story, but that's just something that people wouldn't really know about me. No, that's super interesting. Do you still play chess? Uh, no, not often. I have played recently during quarantine, but I should play more definitely. Yeah. That would be a fun little bracket thing that you and your team could do one day. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So what were some of your favorite TV shows growing up? Um, I was definitely a big Nickelodeon. Like I like SpongeBob, uh, Ed, Ed and Eddie, like all those, you know, just cartoon. I was more of a cartoon than like the reality TV or not reality TV, but the reality like Disney shows. I definitely like the cartoons more. And do you have a pregame pump up song that you like to listen to before your games? Pre-game pump up. Um, I usually like to get more like relaxed pre-game, you know, like I know how people like to be all amped up, but I'm already excited for the game. So I'm kind of just trying to calm myself down. So usually throw on some Bob Marley or something that just relaxes me. That's interesting. That's, yeah. I haven't heard that, but I think that's a great thing to do before games, just kind of like calm your soul. So yeah, exactly. Did you learn anything new over your summer break? Um, well, I've been uh, I just kind of like a new activity I picked up. Like I've been trying to play a little more golf during quarantine. Um, so that's definitely something I've gotten a lot better at since quarantine started because I, I didn't play at all before. So. I think a lot of people have picked up golf over this time because it's something that you could go do and you're not around anyone. So like exactly, golf yeah, it's up. easy easy to be distanced and yeah, definitely. So, do you have a role model in your life, and why are they your role model? Uh, role model would definitely be my mom, just because you know she just works so hard and yeah, I look up to her definitely. And speaking of people, if you could have coffee or lunch with anyone, they can be dead or alive, who would you have coffee or lunch with? I'd probably say Jay-Z. Just, I mean, I appreciate like his music, um, just genius, but also just as a business aspect, um, is definitely someone I look up to in terms of, you know, starting your own thing. And I mean, you see where he is, so. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, what is your favorite professional sport to watch and who is your favorite team? Favorite professional sport to watch is definitely basketball and favorite team is the Warriors because, you know, I'm born and raised in the Bay, so I gotta love the Warriors. Of course. Yeah. And do you have a nickname or what is your most common name that people call you by? Yeah, my nickname is definitely just Mar, just shortening my name up. Um, 
I don't really have any like cool nicknames or anything like that. I mostly just got more. That's all I really have. Do you have a favorite movie? Well, I'd say my, I don't know if my favorite movie specifically, but my favorite series is definitely like the um, Jason Bourne series. I don't, I don't know about the newer one, but like the first three, uh, those are my go-to. Like if I'm just trying to watch a movie and chill out, that would definitely be my go-to. Cool. And if you could have a closet full of one item, what would your closet be full of? Definitely and shoes. Then. Shoes. All right. Yeah. yeah. Any item. <laughs> yeah. I love shoes. Yeah. You're not the only one. Lots of athletes have said that. So a lot of you love shoes. <laughs> yeah. Shoes or hoodies. I love, I love a good warm hoodie. I was going to say shoes or hoodies are like the top answers. So. <laughs> yeah. Soda or sparkling water? Sparkling water, definitely. Flip-flops or sneakers? Flip-flops. Baseball or football? Football. Cats or dogs? Dogs, easily. Fall or spring? Uh, spring. The beach or the mountains? Beach, definitely. Reading or watching? Probably should say reading, but definitely watching. <laughs> Driving or flying? Um, driving, driving. Bungee jump or skydive? Oh, I definitely wouldn't do either of those, but if I had to choose, I guess bungee jumping because I'm connected to something, so there's some type of assurance there. Cardio or strength training? Uh, strength. Definitely. Awesome. That bungee jump or skydive one is always funny because it's either you, an athlete really hates it or like they're really excited to do one. So uh -huh. that one's funny. But that brings me to the end of the entire interview. I appreciate you coming on Zoom to do this. I know it's different than an in-person interview, but hopefully I'm able to interview you in person soon. But thank you so much for coming on Zoom today. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Of course. Have a good day. You too. Hold up.